climatic zones of the earth learning objectives understand weather and climate recognize factors affecting weather explore temperature and latitude learn about wind patterns discover humidity's influence examine altitude's effects identify climate zones on earth startup weather refers to short term atmospheric conditions and climate is long term influencing factors include temperature latitude winds humidity and altitude winds like sea breeze and land breeze transport heat and moisture sea breeze occurs during the day blowing from the sea to land and the land breeze occurs at night blowing from the land to the sea earth is divided into three climate zones the torrid temperate and frigid zones these zones are based on factors like temperature sunlight and location on the earth's surface the torrid zone is the hot zone temperate zone is the moderate zone frigid zone is the cold zone difference between weather and climate in our previous class we learned about the difference between weather and climate let's recall it again weather is the atmospheric condition of a place for a short period and climate is the atmospheric condition for a long period weather is temporary and affects a small area but climate is permanent and affects a large area factors affecting weather and climate there are some factors that affect the weather of a place weather is closely related to climate so changes in weather can lead to changes in climate some of these factors are temperature latitude winds humidity and altitude now read to learn these factors in detail are you ready children temperature temperature is an important factor that affects the weather the temperature of a place depends on the sunlight it receives if the place receives more sunlight its temperature will be higher The equator receives direct sunlight so equatorial regions are very hot. The poles receive slanted sunlight which is less intense and spread over a larger area. As a result areas near the poles are less hot. Winds. The temperature of a place and the winds that blow there are closely related. Winds blow from cool places to hot places. They transport heat and moisture. During the day, land becomes hotter than the sea. The wind above the land also gets hot. Hot air becomes lighter and rises. Cool wind from the sea then blows towards the land. This is called a sea breeze. It is full of moisture and cools the land. Temperature the amount of heat at a place or body humidity amount of water vapor in the air altitude height of a place above the sea level water takes longer to cool than land so at night the land cools faster than the sea wind over the land gets cool and dense it now blows from the land towards the sea this is called the land breeze In coastal regions people feel sea breeze during the day and land breeze during the evening humidity humidity is the moisture in the air places close to the sea are humid and cool cities near the sea are cool for example compare new delhi a landlocked city and chennai which is near the sea chennai has a more moderate climate because of the humidity in the air to understand this compare the temperatures of new delhi and chennai in june new delhi chennai on 15 june in new delhi it is 35 degrees celsius in chennai it is 20 degrees celsius on 16 june in delhi it is 38 degrees centigrade and in chennai it is 21 degrees celsius 17 June it is 36 and in Chennai 22 on 18 June it is 32 in Delhi 21 in Chennai on 19 June it is 34 degrees celsius in new delhi 
22 degrees in Chennai. On 20th June, it is 32 degrees Celsius in New Delhi and 22 degrees Celsius in Chennai. This shows that humidity controls a place temperature. Altitude Altitude also affects the temperature at a place. As altitude increases, temperature decreases. Hot air rises and becomes lighter, losing its heat carrying capacity. Mountain regions have low temperatures, so they have cool and pleasant climate. Therefore, hill stations are popular with tourists in summer. Climate zones on the Earth Based on these factors, the Earth is divided into three climate zones, namely the torrid zone, the temperate zone and the frigid zone. These zones spread across the northern and southern hemispheres. The torrid zone The torrid zone includes the equatorial region. It stretches from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn and it is divided into the North Torrid Zone and the South Torrid Zone. This is the hottest zone on the Earth. It receives direct sunlight throughout the year. The Amazon rainforest and the Sahara Desert lie in this zone. Do you know? The Amazon rainforest and the Congo rainforest lie in the Torrid Zone. Owing to the rising global temperatures, the ice in the Arctic Circle is melting fast. This leads to a rise in sea and ocean levels and also affects the living things. The Temperate Zone In the Northern Hemisphere, the Temperate Zone extends from the Tropic of Cancer to the Arctic Circle. In the Southern Hemisphere, it extends from the Tropic of Capricorn to the Antarctic Circle. They are called the North Temperate Zone and the South Temperate Zone, respectively. The climate in this zone is moderate, neither too hot nor too cold. This zone receives slanted sunlight. The Frigid Zone This zone is near the poles. It extends from the Arctic Circle to the North Pole and it is called the North Frigid Zone. And from the Antarctic Circle to the South Pole, it is called the South Frigid Zone. These zones receive very little sunlight and they are too cold. They are covered with permanent ice. Interestingly, in this zone, day or night lasts for 6 months each. Mind Map Climatic Zones of the Earth Weather Short-term atmospheric conditions Climate Long-term atmospheric conditions Factors affecting weather and climate Temperature and latitude, that is equator, hot, direct sunlight, poles, cold, slanted sunlight, winds, sea breeze during the day, cool wind from sea to land, land breeze at night, cool wind from land to sea, humidity, coastal cities, cool with moderate climate, inland cities, hot, extreme temperatures, altitude, Higher altitude means lower temperature. Mountain regions are cold with pleasant climate. Climatic zones on Earth, the torrid zone, the temperate zone, the frigid zone. Chapter at a glance. Weather is short-term atmospheric conditions and climate is long-term atmospheric conditions. Factors that affect weather and climate include temperature, latitude, winds, humidity, and altitude. Equatorial regions are hot owing to direct sunlight and polar regions are colder with slanted sunlight. Winds transport heat and moisture. They create sea breeze during the day and land breeze during the evening. Humidity means the moisture in the air. It affects temperature, making coastal cities cool. Higher altitude areas have lower temperatures, making hill stations cold and pleasant. Earth is divided into three climate zones, the torrid zone, hot, the temperate zone, moderate, and the frigid zone, coldest. Frigid zones near the pole have day and night lasting six months each.